All right, the next thing we want to do is to remove some elements of this flag here, which um, actually we don't really have to do because we're going to be creating a clipping mask. But just to show you the benefit of this group selection tool here, this whole thing is one large group. If you want to eliminate elements of that group, just grab the group selection tool and you can easily do so. We're not going to need that flagpole, so that's a quick way to isolate and get rid of things. All right, let's just make sure this is one group, and, and I can show you that it is. All right, see? So it would be redundant of me to group it again, but uh, sometimes it's quicker just to, just to hit Control-G to make sure it's grouped than to go over to the Layers palette and check that it is. Now, I'm going to have to pause, folks. I got another phone call. I'm so popular today. All right, I'm back. Now, what was I saying? We are going to make a clipping path out of some text, okay? So to do that, grab the text tool. Click on the character palette and type in impact. That's the font we want. It wasn't quite done, though. I want to uh, set it to 800 points which isn't going to be large enough, but I'll show you how to take care of that. Now, type in the word Patriot. That's not going to be big enough, folks, but you can't enlarge live text any more than uh, that right there. Okay, and We want to make it large enough to almost cover the whole banner, so to do that we're going to have to turn it into outlines. To turn it into outlines, just hit Control shift o on your keypad. Now, what that did was that made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven independent compound paths. To make this one clipping path, this is all going to have to be one compound path. Let me show you in the Layers palette. You see, we've got seven individual compound paths. To make that into one compound path, go to the Object menu, Compound Path, make. We now have one compound path that we can turn into a clipping path. Now with everything selected I'm going to go ahead and assign it a black stroke just so it's easy to see. Let's now move it over this flag in an approximate place where I want to make the clipping path and then select both of them. Go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make. And there you have it. Now we got to do some work on it, but we're well on our way. All right. Let's drag it onto the banner, but before I do that, I want to lock this layer, otherwise I'm going to start moving it around. All right, with that layer locked, I'm going to hit Control-0 centers it and, and uh, fills the entire view area with it. Now hit Control H on your keyboard and that gets rid of your selection outlines while still keeping it selected. Allows us to do some work here. Now I want to do some work first of all just to the text Patriot. And you're going to have to go into your layers palette and select just that compound path, which is part of the clipping group now, but you can still work on them individually and assign it a black stroke in this case. And let's try a 40 point black stroke. That's a little too big. Let's try a 30 point black stroke. All right, let's start there. Now, next thing we want to do is select just the flag, which is inside the clipping group, and see if we want to change its location at all. See. Uh, See if it looks better. You know, just kind of drag it around and play with it. You see? You can move that flag independent of, uh, of that text. All right? You can also hit E on your keyboard and transform that separately. All right? And that way you can show, you know, just a part of the flag that you want to show through the letters. And that looks pretty good like that, I think. Maybe move it up here a little bit. Yeah. Maybe move this down a little bit. 
Okay, I like that. I'm satisfied with that. I'm going to keep that. Okay. Let's close up the layers palette. Now what I want to do is resize the whole thing together. All right, and to do that, I'm going to select the entire clipping group by doing this. And now I want to see the selection outline, so I'm going to hit Control H. I'm going to hit E to get the free transform function. I'm going to grab a corner handle while holding down the shift key. Let me close my layers palette, get it out of the way. Just play with it until you size it to what you think looks good. And place it where you think you want it. Deselect it. And I'm happy with that. Of course, you know, as, as we progress through our design here, it will inevitably change a little bit. But right now, I'm happy with that. And we'll move on to some opacity masking. That's right, opacity masking in the very next lesson.